All right, that'll be the laptop. Let me see. This is what I mainly went in here for, is just to get the map explored. So, into the west. Uh, fungal, temples, acid ants, fungal. Another military outpost and a hotel. Shipwreck. Another lab. Actually, two more labs. <laughs> Mine, lab, lab. We're still just working our way south, southeast. Uh, actually, we're getting pretty close. We're down close to A here. Gonna get across that bridge and the shipwreck right there. So that's not bad. We've got a couple more labs in the area we can get to pretty quickly and easily. Military outpost. So, let's get moving again. Interesting zombies in that group. Okay, lab, lab. I think we're just gonna go ahead and go across the bridge. Hopefully, there's not too many razor claws trying to mess with us on the bridge. Uh oh, light tank. One razor claw. Bunch of razor claws. <laughs> More razor claws. IFV, light tank. Yeah, light tank. No treads. Love to grab the ammo off of it. Really don't want to try to take apart razor claws. They'll rip all my clothes and my backpacks off of me. We'll just leave it alone. Not worth the effort. Either shipwreck. Another flaming eye. Gotta be kidding me. Uh, have I got stared at yet? Hopefully he's busy. Where are you? Flaming eye down. Yay, I got a flaming eye on my kill list. <laughs> Not sure if he actually stared at me this time. I don't think he did. I think he was busy with all of the other animals in the area. Nope, he got me. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, so, we're heading right towards the acid ant hill. And they're all... Uh, Excitable because of the gunfire. I do not want to get stopped. The big ones. Not seeing any soldiers in there, though. Ah, uh, 
sporting goods site. Not anything in there I care about. Not sure I want to risk sticking around with the uh, the ants here, especially since I'm waddling around on my rollerblades. Yeah, it seems pretty clear. I mean, the M249, if I wanted some 223 ammo, that'd be a pretty fun find, but I don't care about that. Batteries and MREs are about all I'm pulling out of these things lately. Well, I guess I could have gone in right there. How's that for convenient? Lab sitting right outside the city. Now it'll be an ice lab, and there'll be a fungus right here, and there'll be an acid anthill right here. So that's a nuclear silo. Got a bunch of endpoints over that way we can look at. Goes down to the other city. So I'm hoping somewhere around these two cities I can find a building I can use. We'll see. This is going to be a railroad right here. Let's um, let's play find the Migo first. Far side. Soldier body sight, but nothing interesting. All right, let's just go around this way, I guess. Mm, is this a scientist body site? Scientists sitting out here? Yes, it is. One ID card. Killed the manhack? Good job. Oh, they didn't kill the manhack. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> corrosive zombie. Thanks, Corrosive. And I got the fungus again. <laughs> How's that for uh, luck? Got stared at twice today and got fungus five, both times. Yeah, we're 
gonna shock zombie out and about somewhere. Hey, finally, something different. We got the plus two intelligence booster. Dead tired, 8.20 p.m. I think we're just going to run up to that lab real quick. We'll hang out there for the night. Well, that's pretty handy. Wish they have all give me a <laughs> nice, simple uh, computer terminal just sitting there undefended when I walked up. Make my life a lot faster. And we got a nice. Ah, I don't need more solder. And uh, we got a nice bedroom that we can sleep in. Cool. Ah, uh, minus seven degrees. Man, it's a nice lab. Um, this reminds me of the room that uh, had sentry bots. Something to eat and drink, go to bed. metabolism becomes unstable, your metabolism becomes stable. Sounds good.
Hmm. Wonder what the deal is with this stable unstable stuff. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. He thinks that doesn't bode well. I have no idea what that indicates. Supplies starting to look a little thinner. Go with the uh, beef taco. Filled the area in. We've got um, outpost inconveniently placed out that direction. Nuke silo, slime pit, mine, prison, mine, acid zombie um, or acid ants. Didn't quite reach around. Standard ant pile. We can take a look at the entire town. Um, I guess that's a decent sized town. I should be able to pull a few of the vehicles there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Movie theater. There's going to be too many walls. I doubt that's going to have the size that I'm going to need. At least it's a special structure, but uh, I don't think a movie theater is going to work. Alright, no other labs located that direction. Let's go... Let's go towards the movie theater. I really ought to try hand-to-hand -hand fighting a bio-operator at least once. I just really don't want to, <laughs> given that I've got the uh, quiet crossbow. we got two bio-operators. Uh, oh, whoa! No, we got four that I can see, so five that I can see so far. Holy crap. All right, this is going to be the jackpot of Osprey helicopters. <laughs> That is one, two, three, four, five bio-operators so far. One scientist and four uh, soldiers so far. Huh. How am I going to do this? No roads nearby where I can take advantage of my roller blades to kind of skate around and shoot and reload. I don't want to fire guns this close to the uh, town. I think I might lead them uh, farther away and then kill them with the cannon. Well, now if I lead them up this way, I'm going towards the acid ants. Hmm. Uh, the idea of melee fighting five bio operators is uh, <laughs> not not a good one. I think it's three shots with my crossbow per bio-operator. So I can take probably three down initially. I'm going to have to get enough distance to try to drop the other two that I know about. Everything else after that is simple. Just the bio operators I gotta be careful with. Hmm. 
people up north a little further, have them come to me. Alright, I am in my boots, not my rollerblades. I need to dump backpacks. Get rid of the rucksack. That gets me 25. That means I can also get rid of the backpack. Gets me to 13. And then I want some more bodkin arrows. Gets me alright, no problem. So, we're about as combat ready as we can be. 25 torso encumbrance and not a whole lot everywhere else. I might actually try a few swings at a bio operator if I can get one isolated enough. But if they're all going to come at me and dogpile me, I'm going to have to be a little careful. So what's coming first? Pilots? Bio operators are all tangled up in the wreckage, are they? Oh no, these are the bio operators. Um, Alright. Yeah, this this could be interesting. Alright, come on. Oh, I'm still driving. I got good numbers. Fire. Fire. I'm going to have to reload. They're going to get right up on top of me when I reload. Could hop back in the vehicle, drive off a little bit, then reload to be safe. Yeah, that's definitely going to be the smart move. Let's go this way. Oops. Oop. He's here. Actually, do it this way. Let go of the controls. Fire. No, I'll get them first. Yeah, I'm hitting the guy in front of him. <laughs> um, hit control again.
rest I don't care about. The rest I can fight easily. It took me a little bit to get used to how I can arrange the uh, fight and when I need to let go of the controls or not and all that good stuff. I think we're good to go now. Activate. Let's go to the Odachi. All right, um, yeah. Air nanobots and fail. I'm on cornea and fail. Yes, failing a lot of these, given the high skill we've got, still don't have the best. Uh, I don't have a scalpel. I still can't believe I don't have a scalpel. Cable charger and another power storage. What? Oh, I must have dropped one as well. Battery system. Titanium skeletal brazing. Dynamic plates. Kevlar, Kevlar. Don't really care. Six total bio operators. Well, they give me some ammo at least. Six total bio operators. Six operators and a uh, scientist. Oops. Yeah, I was shooting my vehicle for a while there. <laughs> the other thing I had to get used to. I can fire out the back because I don't have any uh, intervening windows or anything like that, but I was trying to fire out the sides of the front. It was hitting the vehicle and dropping on the ground. Yes, not a bad haul. I got all the power storage I could ever need now. I think we could probably get like 3,000 power storage if I ever decided to install all those Mark IIs. Hmm. 
Good enough. Check the helicopter itself. Well, that's the kind of Osprey I usually hope for once I got the gear to handle uh, bio operators. That's why I don't think it's worth me dorking around inside of labs anymore, because I can find helicopter sites like that instead of uh, looking for barracks. Alright, so, hey movie theater. I don't think I've ever been inside one of these movie theaters, actually. It's probably horrible inside, chock full of all sorts of nasty zombies. So let's take a peek. All right, bolt driver, melee, our harnesses and backpacks are in okay shape. Um. I think I might actually drop the backpack as well. I don't anticipate picking up much in here. Well, this actually might work out. Hmm, I would just have to successfully remove <laughs> a big pile of walls. before. Not much in the vending machines, probably by design. So you have to remember there's plenty of electronics equipment in here. I'm going to assume the other side is just a duplicate for the most part. Oh, maybe not. Snack bars. Military rucksack.
Eclipse glasses. <laughs> All right, well, there's a few things in here that are interesting. I just have to decide. I could get quite a few vehicles in here, but as I'm going to have, no matter what choice I make, removing wall sections in large numbers is super rando in uh, getting ceiling collapses. I can almost guarantee when I try to remove the walls to be able to drive vehicles in that I'm going to end up collapsing the ceiling. I'll just have to make the, uh, the die roll too many times. So I'm going to bet I'm going to end up collapsing it. But this is by far the most likely. Um, especially given we've got two big rooms right next to each other. Well, actually, I, I could do it up here, couldn't I? I could array the vehicles all up and down the, uh, the main corridor here instead. Then all I have to do is take out the glass in the front. Actually, let me go back out front. Maybe I won't do it in this back section here. Yeah, I think we're going to use this theater. I don't think there's any chance I'm going to find a better option than this theater. Even if we end up dropping the ceilings and destroying the place and trying it. This is, I think, by far the largest open area I'm likely to find. And some of the smaller vehicles I can drive in. If I manage, which I doubt I could, if I could remove this central kiosk, even just a space or two, I could probably get a few vehicles parked up in this direction as well. Kind of a showroom area. And right outside, we've got a security van, a truck, ambulance, eh, with one thing in it. Right up against the city. Yeah, I think this is our best shot. All right, so I think we've got uh, this identified. We're still going to finish scouting the local area. I'm still going to go circle around. The other town area here and these end, close endpoints just to see if there's any possible alternative. But uh, I think we've got a winner right here. Hallelujah. Not sure why there's no zombies in that place, but... Okay, um, yeah, keep going. Three more ID cards, huh? How many do I have currently? Six. Yeah, there's no reason not to stop and grab them. There's nothing dangerous here. Predator and Corrosive. Yeah, these towns are going to be so much fun to go around in with all these upgraded zombies. Can't wait. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Luxury RV that's running. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Hey there, luxury RV that's running, that has no wheels. Hmm. I try to stop in and turn it off so it saves, starts storing up its electrical power. Hulk and a predator are nearby, huh? Predator out behind me, Hulk over there. And another Hulk. That is a second Hulk, right? <laughs> That's definitely a second Hulk. Um, well, that's unfortunate. He's a little too close for comfort. Actually, I think I can do it. Let go of the controls. In run mode. Just need to get to here. Turn off engine. Hit her tech. Alright, it's got a little bit of diesel. It's got a completely full storage battery, even with the engine running. Security system's broke. Everything in the driver's seat's good. Good battery. Engine's okay. Alternator's okay. Both rough, so it might take a few tries to start up, but otherwise it's in great shape if I can just keep it from being destroyed by hulks. And I'll have to get the wheels replaced. Alright, uh, whoops. Remember vehicle position. Note. Lux RV needs wheels. 24 inch. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Alright. get these guys to follow me in such a way they don't go through that vehicle. Get out of the luxury RV. Get out of there. I don't want you in there making noise because then everything in the area is going to just destroy that thing. Alright, now we get out of here. Okay. Feral Predator crack. The silo, the dreaded Chihuahua. Our bio operators. Punch dagger. Um, I'd actually like to grab the punch dagger, just in case I go to a hand-to-hand -hand weapon style. That way, I don't have to make one. It is right there. Okay. These guys are following the crack. Where's the bio? Over there. Soldier site with a bio operator, huh? I'm kind of curious how a bio operator would do against a feral predator. I wonder if I can get the, these two to, to meet up with each other. Those guys still following that stupid crack? They are. Um, heavily injured. Moderately injured. Lightly injured. Yeah, nothing on the ground to care about. Let's leave these guys away a bit. Perfect. <laughs> oh, 
HVP. High velocity penetrator. Whoa, penetrator rounds for my battle rifle. 38 armor piercing, 47 damage. Alright, cool. Okay, um, post the panel. Peace. Too many body sites in this one, I think. Whoops. Ah, dang it. <laughs> hey, saved by a squirrel. <laughs> Thank you, squirrel. Power armor interface. Thank you very much, squirrel. I really appreciate that. Save me some power armor interface. Yeah, I just need some power armor. site. There's that railroad I was talking about. I knew that was going to be a railroad from the way it was configured. Good, not useful. side of the minefield. Oops. <laughs> You're going to be as uh, friendly as last time in giving me a computer right here at the top. bedroom at least. Five degrees. Alright, so it's not a nice lab. Not wearing my roller blades, so I gotta be a little careful.
What are they right Oatmeal. Oops. Yeah, didn't bring my, my backpack. Hey there, doggy doggy. Check! Try to pull my weapon out of my hands. Oh. Oh, I'm out of ammo. And he got it that time. <laughs> you little bastard! Let's go, uh, let's go punch dagger him to death. Oops. Shield. I've already got one. Kinetic shock absorbers. Eh, it's different. Eh, I can't carry anything still.
Hmm. Too late. I already got that one. Lucas, I. All right, now we're rocking. Now I'm a happy guy. <laughs> an auto dock with a uh, portal right next to it. The uh, auto dock survived, <laughs> but there's fire and uh, such right around the portal. Lovely. Yeah, I don't think I'll be visiting that auto dock. Even with the thermal dissipation CBM, that seems uh, counterproductive. See if we've still got the anesthetics over here, though. chat here been a while oh. yeah I might launch the mini nuke or something we'll see um, yeah we found one vehicle more importantly than the vehicles is I finally found the place we're gonna showcase them so the showcase has been located and we have found one vehicle so far to put in there um, I've got to see in the dark. I've got the bionic system implanted night vision. Gives me the seeing in the dark ability. 